others have a power of persuasion stronger than that of words, appearances, emotions, or will. The persuasive power of an author cannot be fended off. It enters into us like breath into our lungs. It fills us up, imbues us totally. There is no remedy for it. For people could close their eyes to greatness, to horrors, to beauty, and their ears to melodies or deceiving words. But they couldn't escape scent. For scent was a brother of breath. Together with breath, it entered human beings who couldn't defend themselves against it, not if they wanted to live. And sand entered into their very core, went directly to their hearts and decided for good and all between affection and contempt, disgust and lust love and hate. He who ruled sand ruled the hearts of men. Jean-Baptiste Grenouille possessed the power. He held it in his hand, a power stronger than the power of money, or the power of terror, or the power of death. The invincible power to command the love of mankind. In that moment, as his soul was smelled how irresistible its effect was, and how with lightning speed it spread and made captives of the people all around him. In that moment, his whole disgust for humankind rose up again within him and completely sired his triumph so that he felt not only no joy but not even the least bit of satisfaction what he had always longed for that other people should love him became at the moment of his achievement unbearable because he did not love them himself, he hated them, and suddenly so knew that he had never found gratification in love, but always only in hatred, in hating, and in being hated.